Hi everyone, Daryl Legacy here, Instructional Designer at Hack. D2L recently introduced a new process for creating Dropbox assignments, so this video will show you how it works. As of June 2021, this process is still optional, meaning that you can freely switch back and forth between this method and the old method. You can watch how to make a Dropbox with the old method here. Eventually, if D2L turns off the ability to switch back and forth, you'll need to make all your Dropbox folders using this new method, so it may be a good idea to switch to this way soon. Click on Dropbox in your navbar, or however you get to the Dropbox area. Click on New Folder. If you're set up to use the new experience, this is what it will look like. As of this video's publication, you can still switch to the old way by clicking the down arrow in the upper right and choosing Turn It Off. That takes you to the old experience. The new experience is quite a bit simpler, but it's worth talking about the different elements here. You can give it a name and a due date if you want. It defaults to ungraded, meaning this item does not have a points value and is not connected to your gradebook. This would be useful if you need students to submit something that isn't worth any points, like a survey or their work schedule. Unlike the old experience, this new method can automatically create a grade item for you if you want. You can do this by clicking the ungraded selection under score out of. This now allows you to enter a points total. This item is now defaulting to in grades, meaning that D2L will automatically create a grade item with a matching name and points total in your gradebook. It will not be placed in a grade category. If you're using a weighted gradebook, D2L will determine this item's weight based on your overall weighting settings. If you click on In Grades, several options will appear. Click the first one, Choose from Grades. This opens a new pop-up window. Create and link to a new grade item is the default choice, the same as if you had not clicked on the In Grades box at all. But this window also gives you the option to place the item in an existing grade category if you want. If you've already created the grade item for this Dropbox folder, you can select the bottom radio button and it will let you choose the item that you want to connect. If you click In Grades again, you can also choose Remove from Grades. This works similarly to the way it was set up before you ever clicked the In Grades box. It's no longer connected to your gradebook in any way. However, this option still lets you give it a points total, even though it's not actually worth anything in your gradebook. This probably isn't the best choice, since your students may assume that it does count for something because of the points total. When it's set to Not in Grades, you can change it back by clicking on Add to Grades. Or, Reset to Ungraded sets it back to the way it was at the very beginning, where it isn't tied to anything in the gradebook and also doesn't have any point total. You can type instructions in the text box if you have any, and you can upload files or links using the icons at the bottom. You can also record short audio or video instructions if you want. The three large tabs on the right allow you to change all the other settings that you're used to from the old process. Availability dates and conditions is where you can set a start or end date and release conditions, or give users special access. It's important to remember that setting a due date alone doesn't stop students from being able to submit to this Dropbox. Only an end date can do that. A student who submits after the due date will be marked late, whereas if a student tries to submit after an end date, D2L will not let them. You don't need an end date in most situations, unless you have a policy where there's a hard cutoff after which assignments can't be submitted. Having a due date is useful, both to show you if a student should lose points for being late, and also because it will show up on a student's calendar as an upcoming assignment. The Submission and Completion tab lets you denote what kind of submissions are allowed, how many, and what happens if more than one is submitted. You can also enter an email address if you want to be notified every time a student submits an assignment here. Normally, that's not a good idea, as you'll be inundated with emails. But it can be useful if you have a tight turnaround for grading something like a rough draft or a final project, and you want to be able to grade as they come in. The Evaluation and Feedback tab allows you to add a rubric or learning objectives, and you can also turn on the annotation tools for writing and highlighting a student's document. 
This is on by default. When you're finished, make it visible if you're ready for students to see it and just click Save and Close at the bottom. If you chose to have it make a new grade item, you'll see that in the Manage Grades area and your Dropbox folder is now ready to go. While this new process is a bit different at first, it provides the same options as previously and it makes tying this to a grade item a little bit simpler, so hopefully this will save you time in the long run. If you have any questions, please contact me or someone else in the CDI team.